Hello friends, uh, welcome. In this video, I'm going to create a sidebar with Tailwind CSS. And here we are in the playtailwindcss.com website. And I'm going to remove all the things here and start from scratch. Okay, so first I'm going to add a div with a class flex and flex call page is going to be full okay i'm going to give it a padding of three and the width is going to be uh, 60 okay and i'm going to add a bg slate Okay, uh, after that, I'm going to add a div with class space x3. Okay, close this one and create a new div with class flex. items center and uh, justify between okay and here i'm going to add a span for the dashboard so No, here I'm going to add a span, but H2. Sorry, H2 and say dashboard, or I'm going to say, yeah, dashboard and close that. And close the, and the div. Okay, create. A new div now with class relative. And add the span with a class absolute. Here I'm going to add the search. So absolute in set. zero i zero left zero okay flex just flex and items center and py uh four and here are the button with class p2 and on focus is going to be outline none yeah here and focus ring focus And here we need to add the SVG. So the SVG is going to be here. And close that button. And also close that span. And right now we have this one, but uh, the button we don't see. And for that, I need to open the notes. I think I have the SVG here. Uh, 
Yeah, here is the SVG. Copy this and paste it here. And yeah, here we have that. Okay, after the SVG. Also spawn, button spawn here and we need to add the, the input now. So input and class width is going to be full. UI to be two and I'm going to add the margin left of 10 and text small maybe okay and i'm going to add around that around that is going to be around that the md and on focus outline none so focus outline none okay and say Now we need to close the div here. Yeah, and here it is. The input, the button, and the dashboard. Okay. Now that let's create the new div for our list of links. So div with the class. And it's going to be flex one now, flex one. And I'm going to add the UL with the class margin padding top to be two and padding bottom to be four. And I'm going to add the space Y one space Y one. And the text is going to be small. Close that and add the li with the class. I'm going to add the group just to have this if we want to make some changes in the links group and uh, rounded small or md. Okay, so here the anchor tag with the class flex. Items center, padding two, and I'm going to add the space x of three. Around that is going to be md, and uh, on hover, I'm going to give it uh, bg slate 100. And uh, on hover also. I'm going to give it a text uh, indigo 400. Okay. Now here we need the SVG and I'm going, I have another SVG here for the home. So I just copy from here and paste it. And after the SVG, we need to add the span and say home. Close that span. And save. Okay, what, why we have this? Now we need to close the link. So where is the SVG is here. We need to close the anchor tag first. Okay, after the anchor tag, the li, and after the li, the ul. Okay. Now 
Now, if I hover, yeah. And just went up the shelf here. Just have something like this, yeah. And I think it's okay. So we can do just uh, copy this ally and paste it down there. And home product uh, settings and uh, what we have other uh, register. admin and block I'm going to say and yeah so uh, now you can uh, change the names and the SVGs as you want but uh, one more thing I want to add it here is so come up here where we have the, this ul and the flex one after that flex also after this div i'm going to add one more div here and say class flex items center P2 and margin top 12 for 10, maybe 10. And uh, space X4, I'm going to give it. And uh, justify self and. Okay, and here I'm going to add the image with a class of width 12 and h 12 and uh, rounded large. I'm going to give it now the source. I'm going to copy from somewhere and after that, add another div. And here I'm going to add the H2 and say, for example, uh, Laravel tutorial. Close that. And add the span with uh, class flex items center space x1 okay and here an anchor tag and just add the class with a text maybe extra small and on hover, I'm going to give it a underline. Okay, and I'm going to add the shref here and say visit or website or what. Okay, close this. Also close the span and also close the div. And when we can get the free images. So from this one, I'm going to copy one image and just this one. Share and copy this and paste it in the image uh, 
Oh, I think. Open image new tab, maybe this one. And paste it here. Yeah. Now you can customize how you want, but here we have, and maybe give it a that is name a new class. So class with a text indigo. Eight hundred. Okay. And. Uh, if I give it a maybe 900 and it's going to be dark so you can change it on the dark mode at this PG and on the on light mode at the BG with slate 500 okay and uh, here I'm going to add one more class margin bottom to be two yeah now I think it's more okay okay friends hope you enjoy and see you in the next video if you like uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel i have the related videos about the laravel vue.js and alpine and talion css all the best